guys thank you so much for tuning in so we are working on hardware okay the motherboard uh, had bent pins I fixed it because I rock second thing was is the software I could not get Windows to boot successively it kept telling me boot errors so I reached out to a friend of mine Doug and me and him kind of went back and forth kind of chewing through some ideas and we did a process of elimination and I finally got something to go. Well, we had to use my USB window stick, all right? And then on top of that, I went through one, two, and three hard drives. The first one right here already had Windows 10 on it. When I put this into the system, I immediately get a boot error from this hard drive but this hard drive works in other systems, okay? So let's put a fresh, let's put a brand new fresh SSD in the system with a brand new copy of Windows 10. All right, successfully, but what was happening is, is that when I was putting in the product key, it was giving me an error. So I tried to pull up the command prompt to try to uninstall the product key so I can reinstall the product key if that makes sense nope that didn't work either was not successful with that so what I had to do was go out to the garage and get another brand new hard drive open it up attach it to the system run a Windows 10 and then what I did is I went online on eBay I went on eBay and bought a Windows 10 key. Unfortunately, the first key that I bought was a sham. It did not work. So then I had to purchase a second key. Um, luckily for me, they were about 10 bucks. But the whole purpose of all of this was is that I wanted to get the Fusion. Um, since it's a gigabyte board, I wanted to get the Fusion 2.0 app to allow me to change the color of the board. Now you can see that the board is blue. The reason why we went with blue is because we have sleeve extensions. Um, these are cable extenders and unfortunately they would not look good because they're blue. They wouldn't look good with the orange background of the computer. So I got it to change. Here we go. Now look, see? See how it changed? It's like a orange is blue and then you can change it to like a purple. Back to blue. Here's green, white, orange, red, whatever. Uh, it's full spectrum. It, it does whatever you want. Here's the software right here. You can set static. You can make it pulse. So it does this. That's kind of cool. I like the pulse thing. That blue is awesome looking. See how it's like pulsating? That's pretty cool. And then you got flash. Flash. Okay, that's not exciting. You got a double flash. Double flash. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Then you have color cycle. So it just kind of flashes. Double wait a minute. Color color cycle. There we go. Orange. Green. So it's just going to cycle through the colors and then we have it with music we have random so it will just kind of blink all over the place and then you have a game mode which is set up for the game but i like the static and then you can even turn it off that's cool but i like the static and i want it blue and we want it as bright as possible so when you update or when you are installing windows on your computer if you don't have a product key there's a little button in the bottom of the screen that says i don't have a product key that will allow you to well basically get into the windows get a computer going you can surf the internet check your email uh, do certain little small things but when it comes to downloading apps opening files, doing transfers, any type of special stuff, uh, you have to have a product key. And I was running into so many errors all over this RGB Fusion app that I was trying to get running. Um, 
but I like it. it. It's a great app. I mean, it's very simple. The cool part is, is that you can hook the, I have to work on this, I have to work on this next, but uh, the graphics card, we can get the graphics card to sync with the motherboard, all right, which I'm just now noticing that it's on purple and blue. And then the fan up here, this whole assembly, I'm going to actually replace it. I'm going to put this back in the box and replace it with a UFO style in, um, CPU cooler. And then we have this awesome acrylic base that it is put into. Uh, let's see if I can't maybe show it to you guys without damaging anything, especially like the TV. Like you see underneath it looks real nice and clean. Um, we're going to mod this case and turn it into something a little bit more exciting. Also, I went ahead and ordered three more sticks of DDR4 RAM. That will be in the mail here soon. Um, and then we're going to put sleeves on these. We're going to put RGB sleeves on the RAM. That will look really awesome. Um, I need to download the drivers for the graphics card and then I need to make sure that my BIOS is up to date. Um, this is just a temporary power supply. We're going to um, switch it out. It's a good one. It's 80 plus bronze. It's an EVGA 500B. Um, but I have a RGB uh, power supply that's going to go in here because it's, it's fully custom, you know. We are also running right here, if you notice, I have a 90 degree um, 24 pin power readout because I don't like it when the plugs run straight up and down. I like it when it runs sideways because this case is actually going to be up on its head. So when you're walking in, you will see the case like that. And since you'll be seeing it from this view, um, we're going to have to change a couple of things. I could probably put a GPU bracket in here so that way the graphics card is facing you. But then again, you have this pretty blue illuminated extreme and then you have the RGB going with it. But I was really excited to be able to change the colors in the motherboard because we're going to run this sleeve kit. This is one of the sleeve kits that I picked up when I was at Micro Center. If you guys haven't seen the Micro Center video, you need to check that out. That was awesome. There's also a second video for Micro Center. Um, I guess what I need to do now is probably just put my stuff up um, this has a Windows 10 on it. This has a non valid Windows 10. So what I'm gonna have to do with this is hook it up to the system and reformat it back to be in blank. And then I'll just put it back in the box and save it for another day. Uh, once this system is fully running, it's going to have uh, a couple different hard drives. It does hold an M.2 drive, which will go right there. So it's gonna have that. That's going to be I wanted that to be my boot drive, which is not a problem. I can do that again. That's that's fine. I'll just have to install it, reinitiate it, do it, and then re-download all of this crap back on to the drive to get it to run. Um, it even has an art. See right here. It even has an aluminum heat sink for it. That's what that is right there. That's for your M.2s. So you can actually run them two of them in RAID. I'm not sure about that yet, but we're gonna have an M.2. We'll have the SATA and then we'll have a one terabyte hard drive hooked to it. Um, this is going to be our editing and rendering station. This is what I'm going to use to make my videos on and stuff. Um, my current system, which is this one, my current system, which is this one right here. Um, I've actually done a video on this one. Do you see those RGB glows? Those, um, the way the RAM sticks are glowing? That's the same situation I'm going to put in the other one. And I actually thought about buying another one of these RGB heat sinks because that would look a lot better in the other system. You know, so we're, we're, we're playing with it. So, but anyway, that's what we've been doing today. I've been working on this system, trying to get it running because we're going to do a pretty cool build in it later. And then also I had to try to go through a couple of issues with it. RGB issue, uh, troubleshooting, 
the hard drive, just everything about it. But um, if you guys get a Gigabyte motherboard, an Aorus board, or any of the boards that have the RGB Fusion um, deal in them, I would I recommend getting it because it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, uh, I like it. I like how you can change the motherboard, the the graphics card, the case. I mean, you can have it all linked together and this motherboard offers that so I'm really excited about this I think this is going to be a really beautiful build once I am done with it the way that the acrylic and stuff this won't be here uh, I'm probably going to shorten these cut it down and then they'll, we'll put a glass dome on top or I was looking at a case there's a case by Thermaltake it's called the uh, the P I think it's called the P90 um, by Thermaltake, it's a triangle base case, and it uh, uh, it looks like a uh, what do you call it? Looks like a triangle kind of deal. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring this up over here. Okay, so it's a hundred and sixty-five dollars just for the case, but this is the case that I was doing want to do this build in. And that's the other thing. I'm seriously considering water cooling it. I've already bought a secondary water pump. That's coming in the mail here soon. I don't know when it'll be here, but I've been looking through these and uh, I wanna build out of this. I think this would be a phenomenal case to build out of. I think it looks X. I mean, it just looks so cool. Um, and there's plenty of things you can do with it. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So that's uh, probably what we'll end up doing. Uh, yeah, the P90 Chi G of Vision, yeah. And it's cool part is that this thing actually, hold on right there, see that? See how it lays down on its side? And then it can either be in the upright position or you can lay it on its side. I love that, that is awesome. I could do so much out of that by adding features to it changing the design get rid of these poles put my own glass in there i mean just the list goes on of the things that i could do so all right i'm done ratting and raving i've been talking to you guys for a while now about nothing and yeah i hope you guys subscribe thank you for watching and as always you guys be cool and computers